Well, good evening and welcome to Fox News Tonight. I'm Piers Morgan. If there's one thing that's crystal clear about Joe Biden, so very clear, in fact, that is visible from my usual perch on the other side of the Atlantic, it's cognitive decline. Even those who like his politics are struggling to deny that President Biden is now a pale imitation of the man who served as Obama's VP. Now, there's no shame in getting older. We're all getting older. But we're not all the leader of the free world. Biden's now making as many blunders as he is decisions. And today he took his gaffes on tour to my country. Biden stopped by to visit King Charles at Windsor Castle. And here's what happened. Joe Biden will look sort of lost, didn't he? And my king is no spring chicken. He literally had to guide the president and show him where to go. It was pretty painful to watch. And here's the bottom line. Would you trust someone like that to drive you down the interstate, say, at 80 miles an hour? Well, no, you wouldn't, would you? Would you trust him to pick up your laundry? Probably not. That's why it's increasingly unnerving to me that he's the president of the United States, the most important, intensive, energy-sapping, pressurised job on the entire planet. Biden also met his UK counterpart, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, earlier today. Now, Sunak's got his own problems. But just look and compare the two men. On the one side, Biden, who routinely appears to forget who or where he is. On the other, 43-year-old Sunak. You can question his policies, I often do, but not his mental faculties or mobility. If we can all see Biden's mental decline on television, if I can see it from 3,500 miles away in London, what do other world leaders notice when they're in the room with him? What kind of errors is Joe Biden making behind closed doors? The American people have noticed, too. A Washington Post ABC poll from earlier this year found that 63% of Americans don't feel Biden's mentally sharp enough to serve as president. But if you ask President Biden, well, age isn't about decline. Oh, no, it's about wisdom. Here he is on CNN at the weekend. Many of these people do say, and these are ardent supporters of yours, the next thing he should do is step aside and let another generation of Democrats take the baton. Why are they wrong? Uh, well, let me say, they're not right or wrong. Uh, it's, uh, look, to use the phrase again, I think we're at an inflection point. I think the world is changing, and I think I, uh, there is one thing that comes with age, if you've been honest about it your whole life, and that is some wisdom. I think we're on the cusp of being able to make significant positive changes in the world. Really, honest to God, do. I think we have enormous opportunities. And, uh, and I think I, I just want to finish the job. And I think we can do that in the next six years. Six years? I think six months might be a struggle. It's not just wisdom that comes with age, is it? There are a few other things, too, like confusion. A few weeks ago, Biden ended a speech in Connecticut by saying, God save the queen. All right. God save the queen, man. What was he talking about? The great Queen Elizabeth II, the greatest monarch of, well, ever, frankly. She died last year. Joe Biden should know that because he flew across the Atlantic and attended her funeral. But then again, his record in this area isn't great. Last year, he publicly thanked a recently deceased congresswoman, Jackie Walorski, at an event. Well, Walorski had been killed in a car accident weeks before. I want to thank all of you here, for in including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative... Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. Well, Jackie was dead, and President Biden had issued a statement from the White House of personal tribute to her death just weeks before that moment. It's not just the occasional senior moment, though, is it? That's the problem. You can get past the odd mental slip-up and obvious cognitive decline. But what about the physical problems? Has he taken a tumble in public, for example?
Well, they're just a few examples of where the president stumbled and fallen in public. Now, some people might find that funny, but is it that funny? It's kind of concerning. And these incidents are escalating in their volume. And unlike his last campaign, which was in the middle of the COVID pandemic, Joe Biden will be expected to hit the campaign trail in 2024 front and center. Let's get on planes and go and see Americans around the country. He can't just sit and hide in his basement this time. The question is, will someone step in to stop this obvious, sad public decline? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.